Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Jason Lapine. I am a host over at Nintendo Enthusiast, host of Indie Corner, host of Class vs. Crass. What other show do I do? I think those are the main two. I'm also the director of operation over at Enthusiast Gaming, which looks after Nintendo Enthusiast, PlayStation Enthusiast, Xbox Enthusiast, all that stuff. And recently I've launched my own channel, uh, which is currently just named Jason Lapine. And I've also appeared on another channel, Tales of a Noob Gamer, as the Gaming Spirit. So you might know me from one of those, or you might not know me at all. So my earliest video game memory probably goes back to when I was three or four. Back then my family had an Atari 2600. Uh, I just remember very vaguely playing that game. Um, well, playing that system. We had a lot of games for it. Frogger was probably the game that was played the most at home. Uh, we also had Plaque Attack, which I personally enjoyed. Uh, overall, I remember not enjoying the Atari that much for some reason. Maybe this is like blending with my other memories. But I, I was always wondering, what's the point? Like all the Atari games are very high score, uh, based objectives. It's just trying to get a high score. And I never felt any satisfaction from that as a kid. Um, so I didn't really enjoy playing the Atari that much, uh, except for Frogger, which I felt had a little bit more of a goal. So I would have to say that's probably my oldest video gaming memory. My favorite console might be a little bit surprising considering I built up a channel called Nintendo Enthusiast. Uh, but my actual favorite console is the PlayStation 2, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, I, I hold the PlayStation 2 um, very personally dear to me because it's the, it's the first console, I'm not crying here, I just have an itchy eye, but it's the first console I actually went out and bought with my own money. I was in um, high school, I had just gotten my driver's license, I remember making the decision to get the PlayStation 2 and I got it for the dumbest reason. I got it to play Star Wars Galaxy, which you probably know that I don't think you could play it on the PlayStation 2 or if you did, you had to get the modem adapter and a subscription and I wasn't down for that as a teenager. I just didn't have that kind of money. So I ended up buying Jedi Starfighter with my PlayStation 2, uh, but I was so happy with that console. I brought it home. Uh, I got really into RPGs and the PlayStation 2 was amazing for that. Uh, I got into a ton of PlayStation 1 games like Final Fantasy set, all the Final Fantasies, uh, Chrono, Cross, just all of the RPGs on the PlayStation 1 era and as well as the PlayStation 2. And plus that's when DVDs were coming out. I got my first DVD which was I think Star Wars Attack of the Clones for my PlayStation 2. Uh, and then it just followed me around through like the late years of high school, most of university. It was like... It was like my friend. It was always there for me, always, always ready to provide entertainment in so many different forms. So the PlayStation 2 for me is really dear. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually right back there, still by my side, although I don't play it anymore. So I used to collect a lot of things that weren't necessarily video games. Uh, as a kid, I used to collect rocks, which were like crystals, crystals, rocks. I don't know what you want to call them. They were pretty much rocks. Uh, I was a strange kid. I also collected Legos, like Star Wars Legos specifically. Um, then I got into collecting anything that was Star Wars. I was into, I was a huge Star Wars nerd. I got into coin collecting for a little while. That didn't last too, too long. Comic books, I collected uh, Sonic the Hedgehog comic books for like 10 years. I was a big fan of Sonic growing up. Um, I didn't hate Mario. I just, I was, I just preferred Sonic a lot. Uh, and then when I wanted to get into video game collecting a few years back, I actually went to find my old collection of uh, Nintendo, my NES, and my Sega, and all the games. I had like 50 games in total. To learn that my brother had sold it off on Kijiji for a really stupid price. Um, I wasn't too happy with him. Probably didn't talk to him for a little while. Uh, so yeah, like to start my retro collection from zero, just, I wasn't interested in that. So I decided uh, there was no point in really getting into collecting. I had just gone out of collecting Star Wars stuff that had cost me a lot of money and you know I, I just learned to put my money elsewhere so I kind of lost the drive to collect. I still will pick up uh, collectibles here and there if I find a good deal on them but other than that I don't go out of my way to collect.
My favorite video game memory is a little odd. I have a lot of good video game memories, but the one I'm choosing for, for this video is, um, I find it hilarious. So when I was in university, I used to play a lot of Smash Brothers Melee with my friends. Uh, between classes, there'd always be a few hours to kill. I had a friend who lived nearby, so we'd go to his place and we'd play Smash Brothers Melee all the time. Uh, then we realized every classroom on campus had these huge monitors, and we were like, oh man, it'd be so cool to play games on that. Uh, such as Smash Brothers, and plus we wouldn't have to drive to my buddy's house if we somehow could play it in classrooms. So my friends and I decided to create this club, uh, this university club, and I forget what the name was. It was super long. Like, it was like a 10-word uh, group name, which was like the studies of modern visual arts and something. It basically boiled down to a video game club in disguise. We didn't want people to know that it was just a club to play video games, even though I think that would have been like completely appropriate. Um, so we disguised it as this like very academic uh, group name, this club name, and the university actually gave money to these clubs. So we used that money <laughs> to buy like junk food for a gaming session. And then this is kind of the best part. So every monitor in all the classrooms were controlled by these touch screens. So what we would do before each class is we would powder some chalk over all the touch screens, so when the teacher would come in, he'd enter the code to unlock the panel. And then after the class, we would go and see where there were fingerprints, which was usually on over four numbers. And then it was just a matter of deciphering what combination of those four digits was a password, which, you know, it's not, you didn't have to enter that many. So over time, we collected quite a few passwords for different classrooms, and we actually managed to play video games on campus uh, at the expense of the university. Um, please don't ever report that to the university I went to. But uh, it was a good time. We never got caught. It was a fun time, and uh, I can say we got away with it. So that's always a good time. When it comes down to playing or collecting games, I'm definitely down to playing them more than collecting. Uh, but there's still a part of me that is a collector. As much as I say I don't want to collect, um, if I can get a physical copy of a game I have digitally, I will probably spend some money and pick up the physical game even though I've played it already in digital form just because there's something I like about having uh, a phys like physical media. So I have a little bit of collector left in me but I'm mainly going to say I am a, a gaming gamer versus a collecting gamer. All right, now it's time for this challenge. Uh, I'm gonna be playing 1943 on the NES. I've never played this game before. I know it's a shoot 'em up I do enjoy shoot 'em ups uh, I wasn't allowed to practice before, before doing this, so I'm not sure how well I'm gonna play. But here's to hoping I can at least get through the first level. Right, how do you play this? Uh, okay, let's go with some, probably need a lot of defense. There we go. Yes. I hope I don't die in the first. Fight bravely. I just don't want to die in the first five seconds. Oh shit, what was that? Guessing that's a pa special. Okay, I got this. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm starting to move. that? I was going to say this is the first level so they should go easy on me. But this is a Nintendo game. That wasn't a thing back then. Oh, what is oh shit. Is one the clouds too? Oh shit. Shit! How many times can you get hit? You can shoot your power? 
shit, shit, shit. What does that mean? What is this thing? Okay, I get out of the screen. Yeah, I'm doing all right for a first play. I am happy now, I can die at... What just happened? Boss. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh no! I don't want to blow that up. You got nothing on me, boat. Get out of here. Here we go. Nothing. Yeah, this ain't too bad, this ain't too bad. He's just shooting at me, all these... That music! Oh, I'm not gonna get him. Was oh, that it? It's just the score thing? You're not supposed to blow him up? Nice! Alright, I'm proud of myself. Kaku fight. I have a faster thumb now. It's worked up. Green stuff doesn't shoot. Oh sh shit. This green stuff does shoot. Alright, here, nobody's got time for you. We got this, we got this. It's not like this is a hellfire sh uh, hellfire bullet. Shoot him up. Get the same bullets in this game, or like, does that change? All right. Oh, that was useless. I did nothing. Oh, it weakened them. All right. Fair game. Shit. Come on, NES, you can do it. Kind of sorry this playthrough is so long. I thought I'd be dead by now. Thumb cramps. Oh shit, shit, what was that? I'm out of E. Is that bad? Oh, 
Oh no! No! I was almost there. I got greedy. 76,000? I'll take that though. I'd like to thank Alan finally for inviting me to take the challenge and to be on his channel. If you've liked the video, be sure to like. Subscribe to his channel. He does some really cool stuff here. He's actually hunting to get like all the NES games sealed now because I think he has the original NES. Uh, so I had to talk with Alan. Great guy. Uh, fun guy to talk with. Do connect with him. Sub to his channel to support him. And uh, be sure to find me on my channel if you want to see more of me. See you guys later.